Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Today, my wife is cooking shepherd's pie because we're going to see our grandson. So we're bringing it, the shepherd's pie there. So I'll show you guys her ingredient. This is her ingredient. Of course, we have the ground beef, instant mashed potatoes, beef stock, and this one is uh, ground black pepper. Of course, we have salt. Mixed vegetables. Onion. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, whatever the thing is. And this one here is flour. And of course, we have water. And that's all her ingredients for this shepherd's pie. To mix her instant uh, potatoes, she needs uh, milk. And this is the margarine and sour cream. That's part of the ingredients. So I guess she's boiling water right now. What's that, one cup? Uh, one, one liter? Uh, one and one third cup of water per package of instant potatoes. There we go. That's to do the instant potatoes. And when she bake or cook, has to be everything has to be measured. So add uh, two percent milk into her water. Add the margarine. It's whatever you want, I guess. It looks like a lot of margarine to me, but a that's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> there we go. That looks like three cups, maybe. <laughs> and now she's uh, slicing her onions. So she is, are you using the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's using the whole one onion. So just giving it a quick stir. That's your sauce, right? Or what is that? That's for the, the potatoes. For the potatoes. So that's about three tablespoons of oil. There's the onions. So you can buy this whole tube of lean ground beef at my work. Sometimes it's only $12. We have it on sale. So are you using half or using the whole one? The whole thing. Oh, because she's making two shapers pie. That's why she's using the whole thing. And goes to instant potatoes. You can make it from scratch. So why make it from scratch when you can? Hot, hot. Oh, oh look at that! Just like that. Oh, that was quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, use the instant instead of peeling these potatoes and. Mushing it and then just get the ends and it's so easy. Simple. Quick and the sour cream. So it's the sour cream. Looks good. That's a lot of uh, ground beef. Well, we're making two shepherd's pies. Yeah. Because we're making two. That's 
so I just cook in the whole tube. ground beef just about to be cooked and look at the oil so it's just draining the oil there we go it's draining now the oil so what she's doing she's just draining all the oil and we're cooking it without oil yeah. Beef cube and uh, oyster sauce, salt, salt. And pepper. So she's been doing the guys, so she doesn't have to measure everything. <laughs> Hoping it turn out to be good after. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, it's the flour. Some flowers here too. It's not easy to make shepherd's pie, lots of work. That's why she does it. Because it's too much work for me. Right. All the gravy is mixed, so she added it into her ground beef. Because you just have to mix them all in there. And because of the flour that should thicken after. So that's the ground beef and that's the potato, mashed potatoes that she's given to so, use. First thing goes in first is the ground beef. a lot of ground beef mm -hmm. but she's making two and that's for the other uh, shippers pie again she's making two of them so she doubled the ingredient, but when I am going to post the ingredient, it's gonna be just for one. So you guys don't confuse yourself with making. And here is this. This uh, vegetable mixed vegetable is frosting. You can buy it from the store. It's better to use the frozen one because it's easier for you than the fresh one. It's fresh one. So how big is a bag? But again, I'm gonna post it here for one shepherd's pie only. 750 grams. This one is 750 grams. A bag of frozen potatoes. Vegetables. This is the potatoes. Just like that, eh? Just cover the whole frozen vegetables. Mm -hmm. So one is done, and then I think it's the other one. For the top is the fabrica. Fabrica seasoning. There we go, that's ready to go in the oven. Just like that. One of them, we're just gonna put them away. 
and we're gonna bake it when we need it. So we have fresh. Baking the one to go to my uh, my son's uh, fiance. And you put your oven 350 or 35. Yeah, this is my wife that made us uh, share. Um, her shepherd's pie ingredient. So, thank you much for sharing your shepherd's pie ingredient to my audience or to my YouTube subscriber. And what would you like to say? Hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think. All right, you heard what she said, guys. Let her know what you think. Comment in the comment bottom. I mean, please leave a comment below what you think about the shepherd's pie. That's what I should say. But anyway, we're waiting for the shepherd's pie to be done. So, see you again. There we go, guys. The shepherd's pie that my wife made. She's getting ready for work. So, I have to finish her baking here. Anyway, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Do you know the Filipino blogger? There's more cooking, there's more fishing, there's more adventure to come. Thanks for watching.